pre-fight initiations. Wide open. Man. I said I need to stay on the ground. I said me in the air isn't a good idea. Yeah. On the ground you are, my friend. On the ground you are. But. Welcome to No Control RC. What do we have on the bench today? Well. Brandon has no idea what's on the bench today, and I left it in the box so they wouldn't know. But I'm gonna make him do the review on it. So, <laughs> enjoy. I got, I got less of an idea than I usually do, and I'm a little bit on the spacey side. Need to sharpen my knife. It's so humid today. This box feels like paper mache. Bobby Boucher. Oh, cool. You got a box full of paper. A plane? All right, get, get, get out of the way here. All right, so you bought a plane. You know we break everything on the ground, right? We bought a plane. This plane is new, and they claim that it's easy to fly. We're going to prove that wrong, I'm sure. <laughs> I bet it's easy to fly. I get, I, what I'll say is I bet this thing flies great. Once. Because there ain't no way you or I are going to get this thing to the ground in one piece. It's 99 bucks. It doesn't even have tape on it. I didn't even need my kniff. All right, so I don't know anything about planes. They go like this in the air. It's a Mustang, right? Yeah, it's a Mustang. P-51. Let's get it out, and I'll try to bullshit my way through whatever. Oh, everything in here is taped, though. My guess is you don't want to touch the plane with a knife. It's upside down. Okay. Well, that is light. Let's get that there. What's over here? Oh man, it's got the controller's got nubs on it. Got another propeller. What's it, what's in this one? Yeah. Hey, we got a bag with batteries, a charger, and some wheels. I feel like we should put the wheels on it. What do you think? Let's all vote on it. Yes. I don't even know how or where they go, though. We need to look at the instructions. All right, so here it is. Here's the P-51 beginner Mustang that we purchased. I mean, for $99, it is kind of neat. I just really don't know what the heck I'm looking at. You got all your stuff underneath to control your upsies and downsies and turnsies or whatever the, the aerial. The flaps. Vert, yes, the flaps. I'm used to this, not this. Yeah, it's gonna do that. It's gonna do one of these. It's got an aer aerobatics button right here, so it makes it do this. Just in the air without you holding it. So I don't really have a heck of a lot of specs on it, other than that, you know, it's 15 inches long, 17.7 .7 wide. They claim this is a beginner plane, so it'll help you hopefully learn to fly. It does come, the remote does have three different um, uh, flight modes on it. It has a beginner, intermediate, intermediate and experienced. Uh, we're we're going to go ahead and just put it on beginner. And my guess is within one minute of one of us flying, we're going to probably click it on the intermediate and crash it. Just guessing. Maybe not. Maybe we'll try to do get to the second battery charge on it. 
But the overall theory behind this is it gives you a cheap way to try to learn how to fly to see if you like it. Now, I have actually heard a lot of uh, positive on the little bit of playing similar to this from people. They actually have had multiple uses on it. I'm just not hopeful that uh, I will achieve multiple. It is foam. It is super light. Battery goes in there. You do have your compartment where you can see all your uh, little bit of servos and everything is super small. I mean, they figured out the best way to do whatever they were going to do with it. So is it cool? Yeah, it is kind of cool, but... I, I, I don't know. I guess we got to put it in the air and see what we can break. Take a good look. It'll never look <laughs> this good again. I guarantee it. It's got wheels. They think you're going to land it. I'm not so sure we need the wheels. Of it. And, and for takeoff, do you just throw it and then it starts? Or do you it, it, it says it in the instructions book that I, I looked at the pictures. And uh, I'm going to guess we're just going to throw it. I, I, would, I would just... Go for the throw. Just hold it wide open and go. That's what I would do. It probably says what to do in here, but... We probably have no right at all flying this thing. But... It's not really probably. We're going to give it a whirl. Yeah. The plane... The plane... It says the plane does plane stuff. Pre-flight checklist. I'm just going to bypass that. Yeah, there's a remote... Battery goes there. Check your flaps. Make sure cargo seat trays are up in forward-facing positions. Merge the exits to the right and left and to the rear of the plane. And the button to do flips. You thought we'd never make money on YouTube. <laughs> Look at that. We bought enough almost yeah. to buy a plane. We, we, I, only had to, I only had to chip in like half. The nice thing with this is the whole plane is a flotation device. Yeah. So... Let's just fly it. Let's just, just, cr let's just fly it. I think we're going to get it in the air. It's, it's the uh, re-entry into the uh, plane of the, the walking that I'm not so positive. Actually, no, we're going to do a flip, and we're going to crash it right into a tree. I call it. Everybody go to DraftKings on this, see if it happens. Free fight initiation. Fight initiations. <laughs> well, what the heck? It's a Michael Jackson edition. Plan A didn't work. No, it, it sh no. <laughs> Plan B time? I guess it's wide open and throw it. This is gonna go bad. Better get all the footage you can. All right, whenever you're ready. Oh, well, hammer it wide open, man. <laughs> it, couldn't, it wouldn't turn. I bet it's still in one piece. Dude, that was a good first flight, though. That's was it? It was further than the right road. We probably should have went that way. Yes, we need to start way the other way. If you're searching for your pride, it's long gone. We got it all. We hook the go button. Gotta do this on I hit it on accident.
it's all still there. So we got this so that just goes here. Let's look at it from this side. There you go. All right. All right, there. Tell you what. Here. Let's switch. You can fly the... Uh, it might need a little bit of tape. Oh, yeah, I get it now that it's broken. But it still holds together pretty... I don't think it's going to impede performance. Yeah, it does, it, stuff like that definitely isn't important for flight. Oh, she gonna wreck when she comes down. I lost it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that crash has stayed together? How the heck did that happen? I that... almost... I almost feel like I should end on that because it was probably the high note. Yeah. But... We're gonna run it till we break it. Yeah, it's more. Break it more. Lost it. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. I want to say it's on the roof. <laughs> it doesn't do much good when you can't see it. No. Maybe it's in the roof. <laughs> Crash, crunch. Well, it's not over here. But here's the back side of the building. We're on tour. Did it keep going? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. It's all the way up there. Nah, that's a real one. That's what we're trying to do. Oh, we found it. Wow, it's way over there. There it is, it's way over there. So, when it starts to get feel like you head towards the trees, if you throttle down, you can turn. It goes against everything that I know. I know. Wide open. Oh. You lost the propeller. That's not bad though. I think the propeller came off before it went down. <laughs> I probably should have reattached it. It's also thin. I know, she's fine. All right, I'm reporting live here from New Hampshire where there's been a single engine plane crash and it seems like there's no survivors. 
not even Brandon's ego because it's in just three pieces, but yeah. a little tape, a little glue. Well, in its defense, there actually wasn't anybody on board. So there's no survivors. Yeah, yeah true. I didn't lie. No casualties. Part of both ways. I will say, it crashed like nine or ten, and it's actually still together. Just barely. I do. You do have a crack. But I, I don't know. I feel like uh, maybe our problem is we have it on beginner flight mode. Oh, you're gonna flip the switch on it. <laughs> Here we go. Everybody take a good look at the end of the plane here as Brandon thinks he's more than a beginner at this. No, I just, I feel like it's it's limiting. What are we gonna do? Give away the pieces when it's all said and done? If you wanna give this away, we better stop right now. Nobody's gonna want a slightly used plane. No. I also, for the $99 this plane was, if you can get this down, and I kinda, it is kind of cool. All right, we'll do one more, and we'll see what it's like when it when it lands. When it lands. Okay, here we go. You want to fly it one last time? Uh, I'd rather blame you when it's wrecked. And it's your vehicle over there. True. <laughs> I was trying so hard to get it to the ground. You got it to the ground. <laughs> but like in a good... Look, it's straight up and down. It landed. We'll judge that by how many pieces it's in. It's all on the ground. I'm done. Put your, put your guesses below. How many pieces is this plane in when we get over to it? Comment below. It's only in two. Brandon's saying two. I'm, I'm going to say two as well, but I'm going to guess that it probably can't be flown again because it probably has like a major structural issue now, but we'll see. It's... Comment below. <laughs> oh, I tried. I was trying so hard. One and two, but I see a major issue here. Is anybody else seeing the major issue? Yeah, the nose is longer, no longer really attached. That was an aggressive hit, though. All right, so here we are. We're on site. We just got done flying our uh, plane that Alex picked up. And I'm going to... He was probably a little better than I was. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say, for the money, for what this thing did and what we put it through, honestly, it's really hard to beat. I, we did nothing but pretty much this thing never landed once. It crashed. So for $99 of the abuse that it's went through what it crashed into what all that stuff yes we have some little bit of work to do to the nose but it's all foam we could probably tape or do something to it to hold it back together and everything still works on this thing it came with an extra propeller that we actually never even had to use so it's a little banged up but if you're looking to fly to learn to fly the price of this and the abuse we've already put it through not gonna lie is actually kind of impressive i kind of can't really fault anything that happened to this thing on the plane whatsoever you got anything else to add back there it's 99 bucks <laughs> you can learn to fly we had a blast with it we, we will be able to fix it if you guys know how to glue that nose back on put it down below in the comments we are definitely novices to the aerial department of rc but hey we're here to learn have a little fun along the way and uh 
We appreciate you guys all tuning in. And again, yeah. if you haven't, hit that like sub and subscribe button. And if you like what you see, you know, check out the join button. Maybe you'll like to see more behind the scenes content. Yes. I'm staying to the ground. I'm staying on the ground. I'm, d I'm done with the air. That's it. Liar.